It's prime time. And his armada. Hey! What's up, my peoples? Emgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Legacy Evolution Commander Class Armada Optimus Prime. So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at... The packaging, right up front here, we have a nice big image of Armada Prime Legacy Evolution. He is a Commander Class, Class Commandante, Commander Class A, Class Commandante, Commander Transformers on this side. We have the lovely Legacy artwork on this side. We have Armada Prime, Transformer, up top, Legacy Evolution, Prime on the bottom, words, things, barcodes on the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots, and that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along, here we have Armada Optimus Prime, our newest Commander class figure. And here he is in his alt mode, he is packed in alt mode, yay! Uh, but yeah, he is a, uh, a red and blue truck. I know, shocking. Always so very shocking, but looks quite, quite good in my opinion. It's nice, it's big, it's pretty beefy. I can work with it. I am a fan, but first let's take a look at the cab section real quick. Take a look at the details. You got some nice silver paint right up front there. The front grille, the headlights, you got some silver on the hood as well. Little bits of silver on the sides, silver on the rims, silver smokestacks. Get some gold as well. Pretty nice detailing. You can see the super mode hands are just kind of, you know, hanging out there. Hi, how are you? You know, they're just waving at you, but it's okay. Oh no, not too bad. Got the transparent windshield and windows there. Autobot symbol right up top. And there's the top. There is the bottom. It does roll as rolling things should. Hooray! Hooray for rolling! And now let's take a quick look at the trailer. It looks like a trailer. It looks like a, a, a primey trailer. Just kind of a beefed up primey trailer. And there's some like uh, missile launchers right up front. Got these big chunks here with some bits of silver. Any typical prime stripage going down the side. Autobot symbol. You got the tank treads there. Would have been nice if these had some paint on them, but still some nice molded detail you got some gold back there as well little bits of red you can see the top there's a lot of detail as well and there is at the bottom you do have these little rolling wheels and everything guess what guess what everything can roll as rolling things should hooray hooray for rolling as you can see you get a nice turn here so you can get some good turning going on all in all, not too shabby. And for comparison, uh, here it is with Earthrise Prime. Here he is with Cybertron Prime. Here he is with the uh, Fans Hobby Armada Prime. And here's the thing, um, I'm only going to do a vehicle mode comparison with this Prime uh, because... Unfortunately, mine is starting to suffer the same fate as other people's copies, and um, he's actually kind of starting to fall apart, so I don't want to transform him, so he's going to stay in vehicle mode forever until I can maybe get a new one that won't fall apart. But yeah, this is the only comparison we're going to see with this one, so sorry. And here he is with Armada Starscream. Whoosh. And with Armada Hotshot. So there you go. Now as far as accessories go, he just includes his... Big old blaster here, just casts all in black. Some nice detailing. As always, could use a bit of color, but overall, looks good. Um, a couple places you can store this, and obviously there are ports here on the side, so if you wanted to, you could, you know, do that if you want. But officially, the instructions want you to plug it up there. That's a thing you can do if you want to do it. But if you don't want to do that, there is also a port right in here. And you have to lift up these... Uh, panels to get to it but you can just kind of wedge the gun in here and pop it in flip these back down and you can have that going on if you think that looks a bit more elegant again as always things you can do if you want to do it it's yours display it however you wish and in case you're wondering, his smokestacks are bluish compatible. Yes, they are. You have four blushes here. We'll just put two of them on. But, you know, we can totally we can totally do that. This figure can do all kinds of blushing. But, you know, that's just some, some of the blushing we can do. 
but hey, things, stuff, let's do them. So that is basically it for the alt mode, and I think it looks quite cool personally, but let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's! Ooh, that was, that was, that was kind of smooth. That was kind of elegant, an elegant spin, but let's get down to transformation. So the trailer itself does have a base mode, so let's just disengage the cab here. You do have these sections which can swing down on either side, so that way the trailer can stand on its own, which is quite nice. We'll need to leave these flipped out anyway because this is going to be part of the transformation. So what we're going to do first is we're going to take this uh, back panel here, you're going to raise it up on this double hinge, rotate it 180, and just leave that there for now. We then want to untab these panels here that have the Autobot symbol on them. Untab that, and untab that, and that will allow you to then open up these panels. Let's open it up, and open that up, like so. Then you want to take this section here with the treads, and just untab it, and bring it up. Once you do that, you want to untab the legs from either side of the central section here. So just swing that out, and that will allow you to bring all of this out, like so. Once you've done that, you want to take these panels and flip them back in. Now you're going to spread the legs out, flip it back over, and this tab will go into this slot right here on either side. And secure all that into place. Then you're going to take these panels here, flip them down. You're going to take this section, rotate it around. Now this panel here has tabs and slots right there. That will just drop down and tab into place like that. You just want to bring this whole assembly up and then just collapse this down onto itself like that. That makes your little turret here. Make sure all that stays in place. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take these blue sections here. Now first we want to bring this panel out. Now we're going to take this blue section, and it's on a double hinge, so just take it and swing it down. It'll sit right there, and then this section will tab in right here into the gold. Like that. And second first is like the first. Open that up. Take this. Swing it down. Tab that in. Like so. And the last thing to do is just take this little red section here, flip it up, because reasons. Hey, why not? And there you have the trailer in its base mode. And you know, it's it's a base mode, nothing much, just like a little uh, battle platform going on here. This can rotate, you can kind of angle that. You can also, if you just untab this section, you can also kind of have that moving up. You know, kind of do what you want there. You can take the blaster here and just plug it on either side. Like so, have that going on. You can plug it on the sides here also, or plug some other weapons. You can, you know, give it a little bit more armament if you want to. And these cannons right here on the sides are blues compatible. Yes, they are. We can plug some blues. Actually, not the entire blues. We have to shorten our blues. There we go. Right there. Two thirds of a blues. <laughs> We can go two-thirds of a bloosh with those. We can go full bloosh with that one. Have that going on. Things we can do. Things we can do. Again, there is much blooshing to be had with this figure. So now let's get down to transforming Prime himself. So what we're going to do is take these side sections here. They're on a double hinge. So just kind of pop them out. And bring them out to the sides. All the way out. Open that up and bring that all the way out. Then you're going to take the central section here and bring this down. Now you're just going to bring this entire silver section down and then collapse it up. You can see a lot of detail going on in there. You have some spots of gold. Just collapse that up. That'll just tab in to form the chest. Once you've done that, you just want to untab his forearms here from the side. Straighten his arm out and rotate his fist so everything is oriented properly. The same thing here, just undo that, rotate, rotate the fist. Then we're going to take this whole shoulder assembly, it's on a double hinge, so just take it and rock it down, like that. Second verse is like the first. Take that shoulder, rock it down. So it's sitting like so. Now you got the upper body all done. So now for the legular region, you want to undo this section here with the wheels. It's tabbed into the side right there. So just untab that, rotate it down, and there's a tab here that it'll just drop onto. Once you get to a certain point, it'll just drop into place. So untab, swing that down, and that'll just find its own place right there. Then you can untab these side 
skirt sections and just bring those out. Uh, this back skirt section, you just want to bring the knees forward and that'll undo that. So you can bring these up to have his butt flap. Then you can just straighten the legs back out. At this point, we can split the legs. They do hold very securely on my copy. You want to open up these panels to flip out his toesies and close that back up. Flip out the toesies, close that back up. And there you go. There you have Armada Prime in his robot mode. And it's Armada Prime's base robot mode. It looks good. I personally like it. Bring his arms out a little bit. Or his legs out, rather. Those are his legs. That's arms. Legs, arms, arms, legs. I know the difference. I swear, I do. Sometimes. Not always, but sometimes. Anyway, <laughs> I think it looks quite good, personally. But let's get in close here so we can take a look. Not add those abs. Add that noggin. There's that noggin. It's a nice primey head sculpt. I can work with it. The way they have his eyes painted, though, looks like he almost looks a little sad. Like the eyes are kind of, like, angled down, or it's just... I don't know. It's just the way I'm looking at it. I don't know, but he's looking a little shad to me. I don't know. But some nice gold there on the head crest. But yeah, got some gold there on the forearms. Got the fists going on there. Got the little forearm smokestacks, which can double as weapons. A little bit of silver there. Some nice detail. His toesies. And again, you got those hands just kind of hanging out the back, <laughs> waving at you. You got a nice detailed butt flap going on there. Hey, I can work with some detailed butt flaps. Why not? Dare I say, why not? But all in all, not too bad. I do quite like it. Now, articulation-wise, the head is on the ball joints. You get a little bit of wiggly waggly. You can look up a little bit. Look down slightly. Head can do a full 360. The arms can do a full 360. They can move in and out. Okay, one thing that does annoy me is I do wish that this... This joint here did actually kind of lock in because when you're moving things around, it's just kind of, uh, it annoys me a little bit, but arms can move in and out. You got your bicep rotation. Uh, you do have a double jointed elbow. So you have a nice full range of movement there. You do have wrist rotation, although these panels are kind of in the way, but it can rotate. Um, you do have waist rotation, kind of, sort of, but just due to the way all this works, it's kind of like a click. To either way, yeah, 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 things start to fall apart. I mean, it's kind of there, but it's not totally usable. It's really just like a click. You can kind of turn them, and that's pretty much it. But, you yeah, know, it's, 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 it, it moves if you need it to move that little bit. Anyway, legs, can go forward that far, go back that far. Oh, nice ratchet, outward. You can, I don't know if you can do the full splits. We can move the wheels out of the way. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh, full splits. There we go. We achieved full splits. You got thigh rotation. You got 90 degrees of bend there out to the knee. And it can, you can break his legs. Why not? Hey, things you can do. As far as the feet go, they can move up. Uh, they can move down. You do have a toe joint that can move up and down. And you do have ankle tiltage. And of course you can give him his weapon. Now you can store this and to store it, you need to remove the Autobot symbol on his back. It just pegs in and they want you to take it and plug it onto his, uh, his arm there. And then you have that port free and you can plug that back there for storage. But of course we can have him wielding his weapon and he can pew pew bang bang, pew pew bang bang and all of that good stuff. Another thing we can do is we can remove these smokestacks here and they can plug into the sides of this big old blaster here and we can have that going on things you can do if you want to do it and of course again more blushing possibilities lots of blushing possibilities and one last thing in this mode is we can open up this silver panel and inside oh there's a matrix and you can remove it it's just pegged on come on come on matrix Come on, Matrix. Lighter or darker sour? Please. There we go. You can see. <laughs> Just done in gold. That looks pretty good. Again, you can see a lot of nice moldy detail in there. Really cool. So, yeah. I always like the inclusion of a Matrix. And for comparison, uh, here he is with the uh, base robot of the Cybertron Prime. With Earthrise Prime with Starscream and with Hot Shots. 
So there you go. So that is basically it for the base robot and the trailer base itself. So let's get down to some super roboting, shall we? Let's. So first we're going to start with Prime himself. So what we want to do is we want to open up these light panels here. We want to flip in his toesies. And then rotate these all the way around to reveal the super mode hands. And then bring these down. And they will just tab in right in here to lock those into place. Then you turn this around and you take his toesies. And you flip them up. And that will fill in that gap right there. You then want to take his shoulders, this entire assembly here, and just rock this back up as if we're going back into alt mode. Just rock that up on either side, like so. Just gonna get his arms up and out of the way. You gotta take this chest piece and just bring it up so it's sitting at 90 degrees. And once you do that, all of this will just split and rock out to the sides like that. One thing you can do right now is just kind of tab all these skirt panels in because these are gonna make his shoulder pads. So make sure all that's just tabbed in. Just tab it on the sides on the top right there and we got that going so once that is done take these and bring them out then you grab the head here now be mindful there are two little tabs here on either side that's going to go into the panel his head is on so you just kind of want to pull these out a little bit just so those tabs can just drop into place like that so now for his arms what we're going to do is we're going to fold it up at this hinge here and then bring it back out at the upper hinge so we have that going on, and then you want to just rock this in, you want to swing it up, and you have this tab right here, which is going to go into this slot right there. So you just drop that down, and it'll just locate itself. And second verse is just like the first, so bring that up, bring that out, and then bring it over, drop it down, and it will tab into place. If you want to rotate the hands, so you can't see them as much, that's totally up to you. The instructions don't tell you to do that, but, you know, again, do what you want. And then we can drop the arms down, rotate, so the elbows are oriented properly. Drop it down, rotate. You want to drop this little section on his chest down, and then we can open up his ears. And, oh, one more thing we have to do. Take these headlight sections and shift them back in on those double hinges. And there we go. So we have this section all ready to go. So now let's get the trailer ready to go. So first we want to do, flip down this little red section for now. You want to bring this down, untab this panel here, untab these panels there, and then take these, flip these out. These will become heels. Come here, flip out the toe. Same thing on the other side. Flip that out, flip this out, and basically now you're just going to straighten the legs out and get this standing up. And now you're going to take these panels here, bring them down, they'll just tab in right there on either side, bring that down, tab it in. You want to take this whole section here, just rock that down, take this section with the treads, rotate it up, it'll click into place, and you're going to take this entire assembly and rotate it 180 like that. You can bring down the skirt panels, bring down what will now be his crotch plates. And now we will work on the back region here. You want to flip these sections up and then you're going to rotate this 180, extend it, and what's going to happen is you're going to fold it up on this hinge and you have these two tabs which will go into these ports right here. So just bring that up. That will just seat itself right there and make a, a big old butt flap. And once that is done, you're just going to bring this red section back out. And this red panel here, you want to bring this up. And there you have his pants all ready to go. And those are some super pants. Super pants indeed. So now to get the two halves connected, we're going to take this section here and that's going to drop into this opening right here. So just line that up and it will just drop right in. Then you're going to take this panel and it will tab in right there behind his head to secure that into place. You can take this and just kind of rock it forward. And once you've done that, just take all this, bring it down and it will just snap itself into place. 
close that up and there you go there you have the full-on super armada optimus prime in robots mode and it looks really good in my opinion i think this looks really good i think they did a great job with this figure personally i i'm a fan of this i am definitely a fan of this i think this is as of now i think this is my favorite commander class figure i think they did a great job with this but let's get in close here so we can take a look not at the abs no we have a super noggin there's the super noggin and really nicely done head sculpt like the golden there he just looks mean looks he looks like he's ready to kick some butt i'm all here for it i am all here for it nice gold there on the shoulders his gold hands he loves gold Even some gold on the crotch because why not but it all comes together very nicely very solidly got the gold there on the knees his big old feet got some nice heel spurs of course he does have a, like a big old butt flap going on but that's fine you got the backpack going on there with the treads, but all in all, I think it all comes together very, very well. Now, articulation in his super robot mode. Again, the head is on a ball joint. You got your wiggly waggly. You can look up a little bit, look down. Head can do a full 360. Arms can do a full 360 on a nice ratchet. Outwards at a nice ratchet. Bicep rotation. 90 degrees of bend there at the elbow. Again, you can bend it the other way, break his arm, because why not? Uh, the wrists do rotate. The fingers open and close. Um, he does have waist rotations underneath the, uh, the skirt here. So you have waist rotation legs. Oh, that's satisfying. Can go out that far. And if you move the butt flap out of the way, the butt flap gets in the way, unfortunately, so you only get back about that far. Outward, you get more than the full splits. Got thigh rotation. Oh, nice. Clickety clackety knee joint. Oh, that's a satisfying noise. So you get that going on as far as the feet. Uh, the toes can move up due to transformation, but they move up. And you have your ankle tiltage. And of course, we can give him the blaster. You can store it on him if you want. There's a port right back here. You can take it, plug it in. Plug it in, plug it in, plug it in, plug it in, and of course you can plug that right into his hand like so, so you can pew pew bang bang, pew pew, bang bang, and all of that good stuff right there. And yes, we can do all kinds of blushing. We saved the best bloosh for last, that's right, because we can take a bloosh, we can plug it in here. Oh, we're not done yet. Oh, we're not done. We're not even close to done. All these back here, and guess what? All of these are bloosh compatible. They are all bloosh compatible. We're going to put some right here. On the smokestacks because reasons we can do that and then we can even plug a couple right here on the backpack launcher we can have all kinds of all kinds of it all the blushing we can do that <laughs> and we can do a big old armada bloosh. it's a super bloosh right there oh yeah so there you have that and now for Welcome, Paras Hunt. Here he is with Earthrise Prime. With Cybertron Prime. And here he is with uh, Siege Jetfire. Just so you can see how that works out. With Armada Screamer. And with... Hot shot. And if you want a measurement uh, to the top of his head, he comes in at 10 inches tall. So there you go. So there you have Armada Optimus Prime. And yeah, I really, really like this figure. I think they did a great job with it. Um, all of the modes look good. He feels solid. He feels sturdy. He's got some nice, good clickety clackety ratchets, which we haven't gotten in quite a while. So it's nice to hear that nice click click again. I'm a fan of the clicks. He's even got a little bit of heft to him. I mean, he's not heavy, but I mean, you pick him up and you're like, okay, there's something there, you know, there, there's something to him. There's a lot of plastic in this. So I like it. Quality wise, he feels good. But yeah, overall, I am very, very pleased with this figure. Uh, you know, just fun to mess with, fun to transform. Everything works very, very well. Again, really happy. I, I, I think as of now, this is my favorite commander class figure that they've done.
They get maximum kudos from me on this one. Maximum kudos. So there you go. Now I picked this up from BigBadToyStore.com. As always, linked in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out the Legacy playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Love, Peace, Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Transformers Legacy Evolution, Commander Class Armada Optimus Prime. And this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek! Be proud! Palm in your face! No, Primus, this again. Okay, listen, listen, listen. Um, uh, uh, instead of the whole fight to the death thing, um, how about just a friendly game of rock paper scissors? How about that? Sound good? Okay, ready? Rock paper scissors shoot! Ah! Rock.